Prime Minister O'Neill, thank you for talking to the Lowy Institute. Thank you, Sean. Nice to see you again. Later this year, Papua New Guinea will be hosting the Pacific Island Forum Leaders Meeting. Fiji's Prime Minister Baini Marama has said he's not going to attend until what he calls the undue influence of Australia and New Zealand uh, is eliminated. How are you going to deal with this issue? Uh, we hope that uh, Prime Minister Baini Marama finds his way to come to Papua New Guinea and is very much part of the Pacific as much as Australia and New Zealand. Uh, we have always stated that Papua New Guinea's position is very clear. Uh, we can't change where we are. Australia and New Zealand are part of uh, the Pacific community. Uh, they are integral part of uh, the Pacific Island Forum. They've been there since the inception. Uh, they continue to play a leading role in the community uh, in so far as, uh, of course, uh, providing the support and uh, uh, technical skills that some of the Pacific Island countries continue to uh, demand. Uh, that is why uh, they will continue to be a part of the forum and uh, I hope the Fijian Prime Minister finds his way uh, through all these issues that he's got with Australia and New Zealand. Uh, it is their bilateral uh, relationship with Fiji. Uh, they need to sit down and uh, work through it uh, rather than uh, engaging with uh, the entire Pacific community uh, trying to uh, mend those relationships. You have raised the issue of human rights of the Melanesians in Papua and West Papua and you've just hosted this meeting with the Indonesian president. This issue of, of West Papua and Papua is a hugely emotional one in Melanesia. How are you going to deal with Indonesia on this? Well, firstly, uh, many of the other Melanesians, particularly in Papua New Guinea and Fiji and Solomon Islands and Vanuatu, we have very limited engagement with uh, uh, the Papuan provinces, the uh, five Melanesian provinces in Indonesia. Uh, where half of our Melanesian population live there, about 11 million people. And uh, our engagement has been very limited and my aim has been trying to make sure that the people-to-people -people relationship is established. More cultural exchanges are taking place. More trade and investment are taking place between all these communities. And of course, uh, we are trying to encourage their participation in the region, especially at the sub-regional level, that is the uh, Melanesian Spearhead Group. So uh, Indonesia, of course, through the president, I've uh, accepted that that is the way to move forward. They have agreed that uh, uh, Indonesia should become an associate member of the MSG, uh, not for Indonesia itself and the entire Indonesian government to participate in it, but to enable the five Melanesian provinces to engage more meaningfully with the rest of the Melanesian community. Uh, that is why we are in and uh, encouraged by the way forward uh, because uh, we believe that this is a major step towards uh, the relationship that we are trying to achieve with uh, our West Papuan uh, uh, community. So this effort by this umbrella group of, of free West Papua groups, they're, they're not going to get into the MSG? Uh, with due respect to many of the uh, interested groups on West Papua, uh, there is no single unified voice for uh, that community. Uh, we, we only have to deal through an elected representatives and that is through the governors who manage those provinces. And those governors are Melanesians and they are duly elected by the people. And uh, I think it is only fair that they come and participate uh, in the MSG uh, uh, organization. And uh, we engage with them and build step-by-step -step relationship with uh, our brothers and sisters on, on the other side of the border. In the Australian budget, uh, aid has been cut, but Papua New Guinea was not cut as much as the rest. I think it only went down by 5%, and Papua New Guinea, again, is the largest recipient of Australian aid. But aid isn't all the relationship, is it? How do you see the relationship in this 40th year of independence progressing? We need to continue to work at it uh, because of the uh, uh, sometimes the challenges the the global community faces, uh, especially through the, the downturn in the economic and uh, you know, commodity prices, which we understand is affecting the Australian economy as well. Uh, so uh, the cuts are uh, understood by Papua New Guinea. We, we, we understand uh, the priorities of the Australian government. Uh, as you know, uh, the take for the, uh, the portion of the aid budget uh, aid support that goes to Papua New Guinea is a very small portion of our budget so uh, we are now working closely with the Australian government to prioritize those efforts into areas we believe that uh, 
in line with our own priorities uh, uh, in Papua New Guinea. So uh, it, is, it is clearly understood and we, we will continue to work with the Australian government. Of course, there's always thieving problems about close neighbours when we uh, have to address issues like Bougainville. Uh, recently, uh, through that budget papers, we uh, hear that uh, they are uh, trying to organise an office of a consulate in Buka. Uh, well, that is without consultation. We, uh, we appreciate their efforts in Bougainville, but uh, we, we, the Bougainville is still an integral part of Papua New Guinea. There is a, uh, must be due respect about the territorial integrity of Papua New Guinea, and that any, uh, uh, given the sensitivities of Bougainville, uh, any dealings with Bougainville must come through our government, and that is the uh, position that we have. So that is a, a real concern that they have announced this without any consultation prior? Uh, well, certainly it won't happen uh, because uh, uh, there is no consultation. Uh, as I said, whilst we appreciate some of the efforts in trying to restore basic services back in Bougainville, they must work through our government and our government agencies. Uh, there is no other way. Uh, and I don't think that uh, uh, it is for anybody's good that uh, we put uh, issues before us that we know are going to have uh, difficulties between our relationship. And, and, and we have uh, been, uh, been supporting Australia in many other issues, particularly like the asylum issue and, and other issues at the global level. Uh, you know, the attempt to get uh, membership of the uh, United Nations Security Council, Papua New Guinea has been leading the campaign for Australia. Those are partnerships that are bearing a good uh, positive outcomes. But uh, I think when we know that we have sensitivities around some issues uh, uh, without uh, proper consultation and embarking on such a proposition is uh, unacceptable to us. Prime Minister, thank you very much. Thank you, Sean. Nice to see you again.